Can a certain foods act like a pipe cleaner for your arteries? It sounds unbelievable, but science says yes. One study even found that a daily drink of a certain fruit juice, I will reveal in that video as well, shrank arterial plug by up to 30% alone. I will talk about a few different items. Diet can literally help reverse some artery clogging, not only slow down the progression. This is crazy guys. Today we are counting down five of the best foods to clear out your arteries, all backed by solid research. And make sure to watch until the very end because our number one food was responsible for that 30% I actually teased in the beginning. Just one single drink. We will talk about five items. Let's go into number five. The first one, but for sure not the least powerful one, is fatty fish. Maybe you're surprised. Yes, very fatty fish. I'm not talking about that canned tuna. Fatty fish is an omega-3 powerhouse. Fatty fish like, for example, wild salmon, wild mackerel, wild sardines, even the canned ones are packed with omega-3 fatty acids. An anti-inflammatory cleanup crew for your arteries. Omega-3s help lower your triglycerides and reduce plaque inflammation. I'm even eating from the can sometimes, right? Yes, whatever, like uh, microplastics, blah, 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 blah. I really love it. The value per money is amazing on wild salmon, which is canned with the bones, with the skin. If you're on a budget, that is beautiful. Otherwise, of course, get the whole wild salmon and eat it like this. It's even better. But the canned ones, if you are getting a proper quality, if it's wild with the skin, with the bones beautiful. In one study, actually, heart patients who took high doses of omega-3 EPA saw a 17% drop in arterial plaque, while a placebo group's plaque increased by 109% over 18 months. Those numbers are completely incredible. Yes, you can take an omega-3 supplement, but you have to be careful that it's not oxidized, that the quality is perfect. They are really more often bad than not, and that's why I really like to rely on whole foods as always. Omega-3s also make blood less likely to clot and they can raise good HDL cholesterol. Enjoying fatty fish two to three times a week is a delicious way to flood your arteries with these protective fats. I just recently got my blood results back for the omega-3 index and uh, they were incredible. I think it was like nine on the omega-3 and then like EPA, DHA, everything was red, everything was out of the range but on the positive side so I was really really proud of that. I'm eating a lot of fatty fish actually and I'm also eating a lot of grass-fed grass-finished beef and lamb and they contain a lot of omega-3 fatty acids as well. It's just nothing beats the fish right? So focus on small fish, focus on wild caught, don't focus on tuna for example which is high in omega-3 but it also contains a lot of mercury. The bigger the fish usually the more heavy metals are involved. Number four, extra virgin olive oil, another fat. You will be surprised. Clean out your arteries with fat. Sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually how it works if you're doing it right. Extra virgin olive oil truly is liquid gold for your arteries. It is rich in monounsaturated fat and polyphenols that lower your inflammation. This is a cornerstone of a heart-healthy Mediterranean clinical Mediterranean diet. In one study, people with heart disease who ate a Mediterranean or clinical Mediterranean diet with lots of olive oil had less plaque in their arteries over time than those on a low-fat diet, actually. Quite interesting, right? Their artery thickness actually decreased, indicating some plaque regression. The take-home message, use extra virgin olive oil as your main cooking oil or as a salad dressing. I prefer to drizzle it raw over my food rather than cooking with it. If you cook with it, that's fine. Just don't heat it too much, right? A tablespoon a day can definitely lubricate your arteries and keep them flexible and keep 
the doctor away potentially, right? Um, just make sure you are getting extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, single origin. There's a lot of very bad quality ones in the market. So make sure you do make your research on that. Sometimes they have this uh, protection label, single origin label. Make sure you look out for that, right? Number three, maybe surprising for some of you, especially coming from a heavy meat eater and animal food uh, focused person like me. But when the evidence is clear, I'm ready to change my mind. And garlic is very powerful. And honestly, I love the taste of garlic. So I was very happy to find out about that. Garlic might give you bad breath or something, but it gives your arteries a new life. This pungent bulb has components that help relax your blood vessels and fight inflammation. In a clinical trial, people who took H garlic extract for a year saw their artery plaque stop growing, even shrink slightly compared to a placebo group. That means garlic was actually reversing some plaque, not only slowing progression, reversing working a few cloves of garlic into your meals or taking an odorless garlic, H garlic extract supplement could help keep your arteries clean and healthy. So what I'm doing is I put, of course, garlic in my food. You have to crush it before, let it stand crushed for 10 minutes and the allicin actually grows. But I'm also on top of that taking a supplement which is called H garlic extract. And my supplement is either combined with lecticin, but what I like even more is H garlic extract combined with natokinase. Number two, before we come, boom, 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 drum roll into number one, the most powerful of them all. Number two, fermented foods. Fermented foods are rich in vitamin K2. They can also help clear your arteries. Vitamin K2 activates proteins that keep calcium out of the arteries and stuck in bones, preventing artery stiffness. Top K2 sources include H cheese. You will be surprised. H cheese can help you with slowing down plaque progression. Yes, you can use stuff like H parmesan, H pecorino. I would look out for aged and hard raw cheese. And of course, also, I mentioned it before, natto, that is fermented soybeans. Yes, I'm not a fan of soybeans at all, but if they are fermented, they are much more beneficial and you are getting a lot of K2 in there. There are different forms of K2, MK7, MK4. I'm taking both of them as a supplement and dietary, plant-based and animal-based, just to make sure, right? In a Dutch study, people with the highest K2 intake had about 50% less, much lower heart disease risk than those with the least vitamin K2. That's a massive benefit just from one simple vitamin, right? While more research is of course needed, adding some vitamin K2 rich foods to your diet, a little cheese, natto and so on, may help your arteries more supple. And number one, dear ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, pomegranate juice. That's the mysterious plug fighting elixir we've been hinting at. This ruby red juice is loaded with polyphenol antioxidants that act like a tonic for your arteries. Don't have to drink the juice. You can eat the seeds. Depends on how you stomach it, how you like it. I always like the whole food. In a groundbreaking study, actually, patients with carotid artery blockages who drank pomegranate juice daily saw their plug shrink by up to 30% in just a year. Meanwhile, in control groups, blockages increased by about 9%. That's a 39% difference. Plug regression of that mag magnitude is extremely rare to find in any studies. So pomegranate's effect was remarkable. As much as I would have said that fatty fish is even more powerful than pomegranate juice, Fatty fish is extremely powerful and very healthy and much more healthy than pomegranate juice on so many fronts. But specifically on plaque progression, the pomegranate juice is even more powerful than it. So 
The juice even helped to lower blood pressure in studies and so on. Drinking a small glass of pomegranate juice regularly is extremely powerful. Your arteries will thank you. Now go to the comment section down below. Let me know your favorite one. Smash up the like, subscribe to the channel and click that video here. That's a very important one to watch right now. And as always guys, as always, bye bye.